All right, guys, what we have here is the MSI GS60. This is the uh, 4K variant with the 970M GTX graphics card. This thing's pretty top-notch, but the available versions only come with a small hard drive. So I've got this crucial 512 gig drive, as well as this Samsung 840 Evo 1TB drive. And I'm going to go ahead and rip apart my MSI GS60 Ghost so that I can upgrade it. First thing you want to do is click this back plastic off. If you have thumbnails, that's probably good. Otherwise, a piece of plastic works. Pop that all the way off. That allows you to get to the other fastening snaps later on once we've removed all the screws on this guy. For a screwdriver kit, I'm using this sort of cheap stuff I got on Amazon. You can buy this kit for about $15 or $16. I'll have links to that in the show notes below. I'm using a number one Phillips head for all these screws. Make sure when you're taking these off, you pay attention to the color. They seem to be color-coded for length. The silver ones are a different length than the black ones. So keep that in mind. Uh, it helps if you just set your screws out next to the portion that they were originally placed in. So that way you can kind of pay attention to where everything goes. All of these screws are pretty easy to get to. And you just have to work your way all the way around the laptop. Looks like there's about 15 of them. Make sure that you get the one underneath of that little white piece of paper right here. Once you have all the screws removed, you're gonna wanna unfasten this plastic bit across the back here. Helps if you use your fingernails again or some piece of plastic and unpop each and every one of those little fasteners. You're gonna have to work at it a little bit. Be careful not to break any of those tabs or it won't snap back on very well. And that could be bad for you. So once it comes off, then we have access to the motherboard as well as the battery and the hard drives and everything else. So let's get started with that. Once you got this taken apart, you're going to want to go ahead and remove the battery right here. Now the battery does have a little bit of sticky glue on the back of it. So just use a little bit of pressure to get that loose. And then you're going to have this battery cable adapter that goes to the main motherboard. Gently remove that. Be careful not to bust anything on there. And then set the battery pack off to the side. See that ribbon cable right there? You're going to want to pop that out along with all the other little ribbons around the motherboard. In this case, I used a razor blade to get to everything. Probably not the best thing to use, but it worked. Uh, get the Capcom tape off of some of these connectors. That's the hard drive connector right there. And go ahead and disconnect the wireless card right here from the board. There's one screw for that. Pop that loose. Try not to break loose the Wi-Fi antennas so that you don't have to worry about trying to put those little tiny guys back into place. Once you've done that, you can work your way around the motherboard and start removing any screws that are holding it in place. Also note that little ribbon cable on the right hand side, the tan one here, you can see that you're gonna have to pop that loose from the motherboard. That is the cable that hooks up your audio and your USB on one side. Then if we look at the motherboard, you can see that's the M.2 slot that I'm gonna be installing the 512 gig drive. So you don't have to get the motherboard all the way off, just enough to get to that. Gonna need this tiny little screw here. I didn't have one, so I stole one out of another laptop. And it's easier to put on if you use just the bit and the screw. Once you have that, you go ahead and slide your little M.2 hard drive into place. Hold it steady with one thumb while you use your bit and screw in order to attach that to the motherboard. It's a little bit of a pain, but once you get it in there, then it's just a matter of snugging the thing down and you're good to go. Make sure when you put the motherboard back into place, you snap all of the little connectors and bits into the right spot. Uh, there are a few little nubs for the screws, so make sure that those are in the right spot. Last thing I'm gonna do is unscrew this last screw here. Uh, this is the part that holds the hard drive into place. So once you get that unscrewed, make sure that ribbon cable for the hard drive is still loose. Pull the hard drive out of the sleeve and then unplug it from the little adapter right here. Once you get that done, then it's just a matter of grabbing your hard drive, sliding it back into place, and reattaching that single screw right there in the corner. After you get that in, make sure that you put the brown ribbon cable back into place, and you should be good to go for your SSD upgrade. Also, don't forget to put the battery back after you fastened all the cables before you close it up. 